Uh, welcome back. Uh, if you're watching some of these different bullet points, uh, this portion is going to give you a little idea of how we do our AI and our embryo transplant program. Our AI program, our official insemination, nearly 100%, I can safely say 99.9% .9 of every calf sired at Beat Beat Genetics is by, an art of, by our official insemination and has been for 35 years. Extreme rare occasion, uh, this year we have a bull with a, a, a small group of cows because of drought from last year, but generally everything for 35 years has been total AI. Uh, those bulls are picked, again, by high accuracy. Uh, we'll pull the, some of the bulls in the breed, and the Angus breed, and the Charlet, uh, the Angus breed, uh, because of their large database, it's easier for us to find bulls that have a lot of dollars in production, that we know how those dollars are going to work, how they're going to hold up, how their longevity is, and things like that. But we'll pull a list for those in, in this part here, right here, it's about Angus bull. We'll pull a list through the American Angus Association of each different trait that we want to really hone in on. And then we'll select the bulls from the top 50 bulls that we pull from that trait to, to pick our AI sires from. A lot of people say, well, that's slow progress. Uh, you need to be using the newer bulls that's going to get the most done. And, and my reaction to that is we are using the bulls that do the most because you you guys as commercial producers, if you use the hot new young bulls, and, and we've used a few of them, I'm not saying we haven't because of their ancestry, and we maybe couldn't get all the same we want but at the right time, but for the most part, that's where our program is. And when we sell bulls out in the commercial world, we think that gives you more proof, gives you a better toehold on what you can do with your cow herd. Uh, if, if, if you or I use a yearling bull, we really don't know for sure what that bull's gonna do. If we use his grandsire, we know exactly what he's gonna do. And that's why we use the older bulls with a really high accuracy. And as bulls prove out with high accuracy, you eliminate peat problems, you eliminate disposition problems, fertility problems, and everything else that that knowledge is gained by uh, uh, the use of higher accuracy EPDs. So that's our AI program. In our Charlet, uh, we're basically strictly 100% AI there. The database is somewhat smaller. It's tougher to find those bulls. We have relied on older bulls as much as we could, uh, but sometimes the semen wasn't available. So we do use some younger bulls in, in that program. Our AI program works, again, 99.9% .9 AI for 35 years. Our embryo transplant program, we started in 1988. Uh, we did the first in the United States to use commercial cows, some of our customer cows, for recipients. We had no land, no money, basically, and uh, so that's how we started growing numbers. And, and now uh, recipient cow use in commercial herds is probably the way the bulk of, the, of embryo transplant is done. But what we we've done uh, uh, is start off uh, with about 100 embryos putting in in 1988 and today we probably put in as many embryos as, as about anybody in the United States. I'm sure there's there's a few. Uh, that doesn't mean we're any better or any bigger or any smarter. We have enough embryo transplant experience so that we kind of have a, a decent idea since 1988 of, of what we're doing. Uh, we generally implant about a thousand to twelve hundred embryos per year working with some of our commercial customer base and, uh, and they're listed on the internet if you want to see who they are. We worked with them for many years. Uh, but our embryo transplant, it's a, it's a way for us to grow numbers, not be, being able to own the land base and everything to sell lots of bulls as we do sell 700 bulls a year. Uh, we also in the last couple of years are one of the biggest uh, users, if not the, the largest user of sex semen. Uh, we use a lot of sex male semen uh, this lets us to allow to make groups of full brothers easier, uh, contract bulls, which we do to, to larger producers that need a lot of bulls with like genetics. So that in a nutshell is kind of how we, we do our AI selection, the bulls we use, our embryo transplant program for the last 20 years, whatever, and, and now with the use of sex semen, we're, sex semen, we're really uh, progressing a lot on the number of the bulls uh, that we uh, produce for our commercial catamaran, again, to add consistency and predictability uh, and less variability to their, their calf crop.